this was a project born out of pure frustration. I feel like a lot of people, you get a lot of boxes these days. And I'm tired of being run over with boxes from Amazon. I decided to do something about it. Over Christmas, my dad built a Vortex burn barrel. He sent me a video of it and I was so impressed, I immediately ran out and built one for myself. So my idea was to build three of them, sell two to pay for the materials I've got in the third deluxe one. Thereby, the whole project is a net loss of zero dollars. There's nothing earth shattering about a vortex burn barrel. This design only really works if you have a blowtorch. I think I did the whole barrel cutting and hammering in a half hour. What makes this one special is I used some spare steel and welded up some steel wheels to it. And I bought some expanded metal and made a ash cover for it to keep the ash from shooting up into the sky. As you can see, I just welded a little base to the bottom here. I just bought some $5 a piece wheels at Menards. The top is just some expanded metal that I torched into a circle. By torching it, it makes the metal blob, which is perfect for not hurting people. I just bought some cheap dollar and a half hinges at Menards and just welded them straight on. And this is just a piece of bent rebar here for opening and closing. This stays plenty cold even with the fire blazing. The last thing I did was I bent a little handle over here, got it hot and bent it in the vise, and then just buzzed it on. After a couple of fires and burning all the paint and gunk off this, I came out here on a warm day with a can of that really high temperature black spray paint that you could use on like a grill or a fireplace. And I just, whatever $5 of paint got me, that's what I did. Uh, by basically doing it this way, you can see it's a dolly. And this way I can wheel it around to anywhere I want. No problem. And since it's well known vortex burn barrels burn so hot and fast that there's no ash in the bottom of the barrel. You never have to worry about ash on the ground more than just a little bit. Pull it out, burn two weeks worth of cardboard and paper, and then put it away. I don't have to look at it. That was my idea. Let's get to it. I'm hammering the inside flat so you don't hurt your wrist or hand getting it cut on a jagged edge. This makes it family friendly, quote unquote. So I cut the bottom flap holes in line with the crisscross marks on the bottom. You can see me looking on the bottom periodically to align my half circles. Then you can see I cut two of them on the bottom and then went to the middle row and cut that one in between, thereby minimizing the amount of marking I have to do.
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this brief process. My dad took three different concepts and created a simple design out of them that can be done in a short amount of time with just a blowtorch. So to close out this video, here's a little footage from the first time I burned the completed barrel. So enjoy. Goodbye Amazon package help.